Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. You know it's been a minute since I've been on here. Um, I was going to try to be more regular after I, you know, had came back. Um, but I've been having issues with cameras and everything else. So hopefully I got that finished. Plus I've been working on some new things, um, some new life plans and different things like that. And I'm really excited to share that with you. So you should be seeing that shortly. So I'm actually here to do um, a, a swap reveal. Um, I participated in a Facebook swap with Esther Luca. And I love Esther. She's the sweetest thing ever. And um, so my uh, swap partner, Wanda, she uh, mailed this off to me a while back. But I just received it. And um, I don't know what the deal was. But it took a long time to get there. So I'm hoping... Mine won't take a long time to get there. So I received this to, um, um, day before yesterday. And I'm going to be um, showing you what I made her. Because I haven't mailed mine off yet. Because hey, I'm a few days late getting it out in the mail. But hopefully it won't take as long to get to her as hers did to me. Anyway, so what we did, we had to um, alter the little file folders. You know, like the little coupon holders like you get from the Dollar Tree. And then we had to make certain things. We had to make a bag topper, a paper ruffle, um, either a sequin mix or um, a dangle. And we had to do um, a memory dex card. And then whatever else you wanted to put in it. And of course, you know, we all put extra little goodies and stuff. So without further ado, let me show you what she did. Okay, this is mine that I received here. And... Um, so, it, this was a pink one, a light pink one, and so she put stickers on the front of it, and it says, From Me to You, cute little stickers, and then um, open it up, and then she put all her stuff inside, so let's see. So, the first thing is the paper ruffle, so this is a cute little paper ruffle that she made, isn't that cute? And then, the next thing is a bag topper. So I, I think this is what's supposed to be the bag topper right here. I love the paper, very pretty, pink, and I recognize the stickers. <laughs> I have some just like that. So that's the other thing, those the two of the things that were required. And then she did a sequin mix, but she put some other little goodies in there too. So I think this is the sequin mix that she did right here. These vibrant pink ones. Well, it's not a mix. It's just um, vibrant pink sequin mix. And then these right here, really pretty with the little flowers and stars in them. Let's see what else is in there. Okay, and then she sent me some little beads. Pretty. I love the pink and purple because, you know, that's my favorite colors. And then, um, let's see what this is. A little baggie. Oh, she sent me some flowers. These look like um, little flowers from Michael's. Oh, look, there's a little crochet one. How cute. Yeah, very cute. I like the vintage looking ones. Well, I like all flowers. You guys know that. And so, very pretty. I like this burlap one. I'm not really farmhouse, but I'm kind of leaning toward that way a little bit. I don't know why, but I am. So that came. I'm trying to put it where everybody can see everything. And then she sent me some extra little goodies. She sent me some, like the little enamel dots from Dollar Tree. Some of those. And some small ones. I love these pastel colors. And then she sent me these right here. I think these are from um, Dollar General. They're really pretty. I like those. And then she sent me some washi samples on a card. Playing cards, especially the wax ones, are really nice to send washi samples on because they don't tear. And then this is the memory next card she sent me. It kind of got ruffled up a little bit. And pretty, you know, I got I got to fix me a memory next thing because I really don't have anything to hold memory next cards in. And I keep saying that I do because I've had several people send me some. I don't have enough of them, but so that. And then, oh yeah, we're supposed to send die cuts. So, um, 
she sent me some little cut aparts from paper pack. Hello, hello spring. Little flowers. Really pretty. Um, what do you call that? Hieroglyphic. Um, yeah, you know what I'm trying to say. Thank you. These are nice to make little cards from. And then there's a, a little fan. And an old-timey bicycle. And then one of the laser cuts. Um, I don't know what you call this. Iridescent or whatever. Laser cut. And then a little heart. And then beautiful little cards. Those are very pretty. And when I guess I should have looked in the back. She sent me a card. And it says... She made a little card. And it says, Hi, Donna. Thanks for being my spot partner. This was fun. One to do. Take care. Tanya. I don't know why I said Wanda. It's Tanya. Ooh. I apologize, Tanya, so much. I am so bad with names sometimes. But that is what she sent me. And she knew that I like pink. And I'm, you know, more shabby chic person. But, um... So she did she did a lot of pink and purples for me. So thank you for that, Miss Tanya. Put all this away. Okay, and I'll be back to what I sent her, which is gonna be on a separate video. So keep your fingers crossed <laughs> that it attaches. Hello everyone. I am here with a swap that I did with Miss Tanya from Esther Lucas Swap. And I wanted to show you what I made her. And so, um, we had a lot of requirements, we, several requirements. We had to alter, um, a accordion file folder, you know, like those coupon things. And we had to make like a dangle or something like that, or a sequin mix. We had to do a bag topper and we had to do a paper ruffle and a memory dex card. And then a lot of other little things. Now, um, I don't know, hopefully she has received this by the time you're seeing this video, um, but hers took a long time to get to me from when it was mailed, so I don't know. So I'm not going to show you all the goodies in here, but I am going to show you some of the requirement things we had to make. So I could not find a small coupon thing at my Dollar Tree. There was someone in our group then on Facebook that needed an extra folder, and I mailed it to her, and I don't even know if she got that or not. I mean, I don't know what's going on with the mail. They keep going up in price, but not in service. So anyway, I got a bigger one, but it's the same thing. It's just a little bigger. And so what I did was I pulled some paper. I used um, this pad here. I've been trying to use some of my stock. Um, this is the um, Tea Party. I think that's what it's called. And no, Antique Street is what it's called. Um, so I made this little thing dangled that she could put on her purse or a book or whatever. And it's just like a little pom pom. And then it has this like little charm that says smile and then a little pink one. And then a little Eiffel Tower on there, just like that. Now, I also did some sequin mixes for her, but I'm not going to pull it out because I got it wrapped up pretty good. Because, you know, I don't want it to fall out. So, what I did was I took paper and I um, measured and cut everything to match this paper. Now, I will tell you, <laughs> I don't know if it's because it's warm in my house because my AC is broken. <laughs> or if it's just the type of glue in plastic. The only glue that would hold this paper on here is this stuff right here. Fabri-Tac. Amazing stuff. It'll glue anything. So, what I did was I just measured this out, cut the paper, and glued it on here. And then uh, I punched the hole for the little thing because the original color of it was this color right here. So, um, and then I just covered it with paper. I left the inside, this the original color because that way she could see what I did. And then I thought, she said she liked Shabby Chic. Well, you guys know I love Shabby Chic. So I thought I would do her a Shabby Chic one. Because there are other things that she loved was the peanuts and I had nothing peanuts. Okay, so what I did was, like I said, I covered it with paper, and then I had this trim, and I don't know if I got any more of it laying around. Yeah. This little trim right here, put this on the bottom, and then I put some ribbon on it, which was this ribbon right here. I tried to pull out stuff I used. It's pink with a silver down it, and um, put it underneath there. 
And then I had some uh, one-stranded pearls, which I have none left because I used it all on this project. Um, I just put a double row of pearls right here on the edge of it. And then I had some of these little single pearls I put on the sides here and here. Then I had some little wooden butterflies I stuck on here. And then I had this beautiful trim here with like little roses. And so I put some across the top. And then I put one right here that was actually on top of the other button. You can see a little bit. And then I stuck a wooden button in there, rose wooden button. And so it does go over here just like that. And it snaps. So it doesn't interfere with its closing. On the back side, I put a little pocket, and there's my little letter to her. So, and then I can I might I'm gonna stick some other little things in there. So on the inside, um, I made her like a little paper ruffle. On the ruffle, it says "Always have a smile in your heart." And then I use these little um, trim right here with the little flower trim, and I cut three of them apart, and then I just stacked them. And then I glued a little pearl um, flower on top, little butterfly, and then I used some of my um, little enamel dots I got from Crafter Square, and then some buttons that I got from Recollections, and the butterfly came from Recollections too. And so the back side I did not do, I just left it ruffled, but I'm very pleased with how that came out. It actually came out really straight. <laughs> and then... Um, I did something a little different from my memory days card. So here's my memory days card that I made for her. And it's got lots of layers on it. So um, I cut out these postcard pictures from the paper line. And then I wedged them together. So there's like three or four layers on here because I want it to be nice and sturdy. And then I just put some flowers, some lace there. Some of my favorite wide lace. It was gifted to me by Margaret Clevenger, I think. And then this little button here. And then I just put a row of pearls around the buttons. I don't know if you can see that or not. And this keep on shining. And then I had like a little postage stamp in here. A little doily back here. Um, and I decided to make this a pocket. So inside of it is like a little bookmark I made with a little ribbon here. And I just thought it was so cute because it was like books. And it says keep on shining. And then I just put the ribbon here and then glued two little pearl buttons on the front and the back so that is in there and then on the back side she can take these out and use them here's that um, flower trim that I used on the ruffle and I just put some little postcards that in a little picture in here that you can use for different little things right there so um, yeah I put that in there so that's my memory dex card And then for my bag topper, um, this is my bag topper. Now, I don't have a die for a bag topper, but I love how the little holes are in it so you can, like, carry it. So, I just took my um, three-quarter inch hole punch and then punched in the middle. And then I have up on Pop Dots, Stay True to Yourself, one of the little fabric flowers and some little, um, again, some of these little whatever they're called, <laughs> nail like a dot likes, and then I put like a little row of pearls here and here, and I just love this paper. I think it's just beautiful. So those are the things I can show you because I wrapped up my um, die cuts and some other little things and little baggies, and I don't want to tear them open. I'm scared I'll tear the package opening, but this is going in the mail today, so... Um, have no fear, Tanya. It is on the way. And, um, you know, I don't even know what today is. May. It's May something. That's all I know. <laughs> so, anyway, I hope you'll enjoy everything and all the little goodies that I put in extra that I didn't show. So, thank you guys so much for watching. And if you've not yet subscribed to Esther Lucas' channel... Go over and show her some YouTube love. She's a wonderful crafter, beautiful person, and she also has a Facebook group as well. So go check those out. All right, guys, thank you so much. Be watching for that video coming up soon about what's going on in the world of Donna. All right, guys, have a wonderful day, and I'll talk to you all soon. Bye.